so maybe first of all, uh, if I look at the part of the circular business we refer to as rentals, that's nothing new to the sport and outdoor industry. We've had that for a, a generation at least, especially people I think will relate to renting skis when they do go on a ski holiday or renting canoes, etc. So it's, it's, um, it's far from being new, uh, but maybe the driving force, as we spoke about before, the reason for thinking more circular from the consumer side is more associated with the, the awareness of, of uh, limited resources and sustainability. Uh, so not only from a financial perspective that you don't want to make the investment, but also a more conscious decision on how to approach life in, in a bigger uh, perspective. Uh, so I would say um, that's one benefit that helps also the businesses. It puts pressure, but it's a positive pressure to change. Um, I think what we need to be aware of in the sports and outdoor industry is that so far we mainly focused on circular business and rental in resort destinations. So people traveling, it's too complicated to bring the gear with them. So even if they have it or if they don't use the, the, the equipment frequently enough to buy it, they will choose to rent. Uh, but I think the big shift will be when also people uh, who are not traveling and not using it only in a resort destination during the holiday, but actually at home in more of an everyday lifestyle uh, converts to circular thinking and, and renting or subscribing or buying, reselling, etc. In, in a much more frequent way and, and a much more natural way than today.